Hi. Um, now, this is a bit of an odd one. I was just on my way to Bucks Mills and um, I drove past at the side of the road um, a public footpath sign. And I was thinking, well, how do you get to that? Anyway, so I've, I've pulled off, I've come up a country lane and I've sort of parked opposite it so I can walk across and have a look. But I think I'm going to go on a bit of a. Uh, I think I'm going to explore today and. Um, and see what's over there. So uh, if you fancy coming along, let's do this van. Cut. So I literally just spotted this public footpath sign um, just along the, the road and I thought uh, let's, let's, let's go investigate this, why not? So, it has promise, it certainly has promise. So, the path continues on down. There's a gate at the bottom there. I guess it then heads into fields and things. Um, but this is quite quite isolated here. It's quite nice. And um, what I also like about it um, is it's not very windy. I was a bit conscious that the last video was quite windy over at Insto. So for this one, I thought to myself, why don't I find somewhere a little bit more sheltered? This seems to be working quite nicely. So I think I'm going to stop here um, and sketch out a little bit and then um, make a decision as to whether or not I'm gonna stay but yeah I'm, I'm liking I'm liking this liking this I like it So I started sketching and there's a lot to think about here. There's the, the lane coming down. There's a really nice crossover of shade there at the moment. Um, I really want to get some of the tree in as well. So I'm kind of looking at where I can best position myself so that I'm getting that sort of thing in. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing um, that I'm thinking about. Uh, so my first sketch was completely skewed so i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have another go now and um we'll see see how we get on with that one so um not necessarily so clear to see i can't i don't know if that's coming out very well um but i've basically um thought about going portrait uh, rather than landscape and looking down the lane with the tree sort of just overhanging to the side um, poking into the picture, I might even half and half sort of take it off the edge um, and then sort of uh, have a look at something like that in in portrait. Um, I'm going to sketch it again and see how I feel but um, I think there's if you go landscape yeah I think if you go I think if you go landscape then um, we're getting quite a lot of hedge, not necessarily um, going to get the height 
in as well. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> thinking about it, thinking about it. So again, what I've done, <laughs> the, um, I always often think my sketches are like, just what the hell. Um, but what I've done is I've lowered the horizon line to bring the perspective, uh, the bottom, uh, uh, get that perspective a little bit flatter. Um, and then thought about the, the way that the hedge feeds back in here. So I think that's what I'm gonna have a look at. Um, oh, what an amazing sketch that is. But I think that's what I'm gonna have a look at. Um, I'm gonna get the easel out and set set it up and maybe just try the composition on the board and just try and mark it out on there now. But first, um, I think it's time for a coffee. Um, so for today, I'm using an Arteza 8x10 canvas panel, classic, 100% cotton, 8 ounce primed. There you go. Um, so that's what I'm using. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going landscape. I'm going landscape. I'm going landscape. Everybody. I'm going. That's portrait, isn't it? I'm going portrait. Portrait it is. Good, so that's set up. There's been quite a bit of shade here. Um, bring that round this side. Uh, let's not forget, as always, to make sure that um, we put in... I thought it was leaking. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's leaked. Oh, man. All over my shoe. Oh, no. We've got a leak. Nightmare. Oh, nightmare. Ah, uh, nightmare. It's all gone wrong. There's a leak. God dang it. Oh, it stinks. Uh, paint cleaner has leaked all into my bag. Uh, all over the rest of the stuff. Mm, nightmare. Um, most of it is in the bag here, which I'll get out in a second. But it pen and inks. Absolutely stinks. Oh, jeez, man. It's a nightmare. I think that's the end of that carton. Um, and in there, oh, look, I chucked in a spare pair of rubber gloves, which are now absolutely covered. Brilliant. Uh, this is going worse. Good job I've got a spare pair there. I just think I'm going to, oh, man. Excuse me a second. What an absolute nightmare. Thankfully, this bag has no holes in it. So, oh yes it has. It does have a hole in it. I spoke too soon, brilliant. So does that mean the inside of my bag is now also completely and utterly covered? Son of a! Ugh. Right, okay, right. <laughs> Great start to the day.
Brilliant. Ugh. Stuff stinks, I've got nothing to wash my hands with. Gutted. I clearly didn't put the lid on properly. Now, moment of truth. How much of the bag have I trashed? Find out. Do you know, I might have got lucky. It feels a little bit, uh, feels a little bit damp. But I got lucky, I got lucky. So that hasn't really leaked into the bag. Oh, what a stroke of luck that is. So that's something anyway. Um, so that's a bit of a nightmare because this was loose and it's leaked. Um, and that's a problem when you're using stuff like uh, white spirits and zest in terms, um, you know, uh, they stink and um, they get everywhere and it's grim. So that's not great. Thankfully, I had a spare pair of rubber gloves still in the drawer here. Um, so I'm gonna go with these. Uh, that is absolutely drenched, so I'm going to chuck that away at the end. And, um, yeah, there we go. Remember to tighten up your spirits and your brush cleaning fluids so that they don't leak in your bag. Oh, nightmare. Tip of the day. Uh, the other thing I've not brought with me. Oh man, well, I'm not doing well. The other thing I've not brought with me is, uh, is the paper to uh, wipe the brushes with. Thankfully, I always line the inside of the, um, I always line the inside of the drawers with some. So I've got plenty here that I can, I can use, in, uh, use for today. Um, and then I'll replace that when I get back later on. So I've got plenty here to, to use for wiping. So uh, let's get the paints out. So my paints today, ultramarine blue, titanium white, um, and then I've got burnt sienna, yellow ochre, viridian hue, alizarin crimson, and cadmium lemon hue. So, so uh, let's get out a, a clean brush and stick on, get going with, the, uh, with painting the canvas. Thinking about the lane's horizon line being somewhere about here, the hedge kind of runs up probably about that much higher and sort of disappears off over there. So does so does the so does the lane, um, but you can't see that. What you can see is this bank here, this hedge here, drops down. It's lighter on this side, and it swoops like so. So that's happening here and then on the other side um, it's sort of I was looking at where the bank the hedge was dropping down and the hedge is dark much darker on this side and it sort of drops down here you've got like two layers because you've got a hedge sort of feeds across there, runs that way. Uh, need a little bit more, ironically I need a little bit more thinner on there. Um, so I'll sort that out in a second. So then you've got this nice green tree here and a branch over in the back there. I think I'm gonna avoid the tree that I was trying to put in here that runs over the top. I might leave it out and add some sky in. Um, I think that might make a slightly nicer picture. The hedge is sort of striping where it's got bits of light between the, the trees and so on. So I think um, I need to keep that sort of working in there as I go. Um, it's, like, it's like a rainbow. I don't, I don't think I meant to make it like a rainbow. Uh, sort of darker up there, this side in front of that tree. And again, on this side, there are sort of patches and strips of colour. It's not all. It's not all just one colour. There's lighter patches and and the like um, going on. So just trying to add that in like so. 
The back is actually a very strong green. Um, I might drop that across whilst we're looking at it. Sort of a lighter, lighter, just a little bit of, little bit of blue in there because it is slightly further away. Although it's a very calm, very clear day today, there's not a great deal of atmosphere between the front and the back, uh, so there's not masses of changes in there. And this hedge is sort of angled like so down there. Um, and again, it's got within it, it's got like sort of patches go something like that I guess so I, I think for me a big part of coming out is um, just getting away from it all having the time and the peace and quiet the whole thing is all is 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 interesting uh, it's challenging uh, yeah I, I enjoy it I really enjoy this I really enjoy coming out I really enjoy taking the time I love making the videos. I love editing the videos up as well. It's a lot of fun. Although I use Pinnacle. I don't know if anybody else uses Pinnacle, but oh, it is difficult. I was trying to do this one thing where I was blurring out a person that spoke to me and Pinnacle just couldn't handle it. It just kept crashing. <laughs> just literally every sort of like five minutes it was like, no, I'm shutting down again. Well, I had it for a minute and I think I've mushed it on this side and lost it. Ah, I'm mushing it. Ugh! You know, I almost feel like just scraping that all back off now. But I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone and just try and salvage <laughs> um, Does it even look like it's going back? Oh man, I don't know. I'm going to try and salvage what I can. Um, so uh, there we are, that's that for today. My battery camera is, my camera's about to run out so I'm going to leave it there now, that'll do. Um, not a bad effort today. Uh, I sort of felt like I was perhaps getting somewhere for the first time, so that's nice. Um, so as I said, with my battery running out, it's time to finish. Thanks for watching, um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos there are a number of ways you can support me in the future. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now you can even donate on my buy me a coffee page. As you can see from my new videos I love coffee. But your donation will do more than just keep me full of caffeine. Every donation will go straight into buying new art materials for future projects. 
so your help will be truly appreciated. It's easy to use. Simply follow the link and you can donate as little as £2 to help out. Feel free to leave a comment and there's even a link to my website. Your support really does go a long way to helping me to create more art in the future. Thanks.